everyone. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share with you a collective haul of things that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. I'm actually going on holiday very soon and obviously summer is quickly approaching. So I am currently in the midst of buying holiday stuff but also trying to create my summer wardrobe. I don't know about any of you guys but I actually really struggle with summer fashion. I find my style fits winter so much better than it fits summer um so every single year i really struggle with summer fashion but this year i'm making it quite a what's the word i'm making a pact with myself to find a summer style that i love and buy pieces that i love and stop buying into these like trend summer pieces that i just don't see myself wearing time and time again because it's getting to the point now where every summer I'm coming to my summer clothes and being like, I hate all of these. So I'm making it my mission to buy amazing pieces that I love, pieces that suit me and my style and what I like rather than what I think I should like. I think because I struggle with it so much, I just don't know what to do and I just buy a bit of everything. Whereas this year I'm trying to home in on what I actually like, what I feel most comfortable in and work from there. There's a lot of summer basics in this haul that I've picked up because I think summer basics are so good and when you find a good one and a good piece of clothing that you just know you're going to wear a lot then you're on to a winner. So I'm going to jump into it. I have got bits from everywhere because I don't tend to shop in one place anymore. Um, I do love Uniqlo, you guys know this, I shop in Uniqlo a lot, I actually have some Uniqlo bits in this. Um, but everything else is kind of from all over the place. So I'm excited to show you. I'm going to start with a holiday piece. Um, I recently picked up this bikini. Um, I actually was heavily influenced by Fran, who was on a trip with, went on the Devon trip with, which you would have seen the vlog already. Um, she had a Hunza G uh, swimsuit on and she, I was like, is the quality worth it? Because I'm thinking about it and she was like, yes. So... I got a bikini. I have been eyeing up this bikini for ages. I love this colour. Um, I'm a sucker for green. Green is like the only colour I tend to wear. And when I saw this colour green, I was like, oh my god, it's like meant to be. I love the colour. I love the cut as well. Hansa G do an array of different styles of bikinis and shapes and stuff depending on what you need support wise. I actually don't need a lot of support. So I went for this bikini with this like wrap style like crossover twisty situation which I love I think it looks really nice it's just a simple but comfortable bikini and I actually don't own a lot of swimwear I because I've not been on a ton of holidays in the past few years I've just not bought into swimwear if I don't need it I'm not gonna buy it so because I'm going on holiday and I have a few trips planned already I thought I would get one and I love it it's so nice it's so soft Hunter G are um, one size fits all, which I don't really believe in, but they are pretty stretchy, so that's quite good. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was really cute. These are the bottoms. So yeah, I picked this up from Netta Porter because they was having a 20% off sale. So I nabbed it straight away, but they also sell an array of swimsuits and bikinis on Farfetch and I'm pretty sure my Farfetch code still works so I'll pop it on the screen um they have loads on Farfetch so I'll link Farfetch below with all of the swimsuits and stuff they have because they have swimsuits I actually ordered a chocolate brown swimsuit from Farfetch from Hunter G because I just you know when you try something on and you think chef's kiss I was like I need everything in this range like I need everything obviously I'm not going to buy everything but I thought about it um, next up we have some bits from Uniqlo, as you guys know, I'm a sucker for Uniqlo and um, it doesn't take much for me to go in there. There's also a new store on Covent Garden, on Covent Garden, in Covent Garden, which is stunning. I've never seen a Uniqlo store quite as beautiful as that, granted I've not been in that many, but my favourite one originally has always been the Regent Street one. I think it's quickly changed to the Covent Garden one because it's beautiful. Anyway, I want to show some new bits that I got. But before I go into the new bits, I just wanted to share with you these trousers. Because I bought these a couple months ago. And I feel like now is the time that I'm actually going to wear them a lot. Um, they are these stripy, like, um, waffle texture trousers. They kind of look like pyjama trousers. They kind of look like holiday trousers. They kind of look like trousers you just wear around the house. But I've been wearing them out and I kind of love it. Like these with like a white shirt would look cute. 
or with I've worn it with like a baggy jumper you could wear them like with a bikini I just thought they were so cute and they do come in and out of stock often so I wanted to share them with you guys if anyone's looking for a nice pair of striped trousers I highly recommend these they are I think they are technically high-waisted but I wear them a little bit low rise they've also got pockets which I love they've got a drawstring waist in the inside so if you wanted to go up a size for them to be a bit looser you could do so um obviously if you're taller they will fit more crops they do fit like full length on me but I'm five oh I think you said oh my god why can't I speak I'm five foot four so um just for reference for anyone who is wondering but the quality of these are so lovely they're just a really nice like textured pair of trousers I don't think they look too cheap and I have worn them a lot already and we're only just getting started because these are going to be worn a lot they also do them in a couple of other colors um like a plain blue um i think they do like a neutral stripe pair love these honestly i cannot wait to wear them for the rest of summer like you know when you just find something and you're just obsessed with it and you guys know i love uniqlo anyway so yeah um also from uniqlo i picked up this pack of socks now i've only got one pair to show you because I'd already opened them. Um, but they are just like white slash cream ribbed socks. Um, they are so nice. I always like to refresh my socks every now and then. And these ones are really like soft on the skin. I do rate Uniqlo socks to be fair. They are really good. And I've got a lot of like classic sock ones that are ribbed at the top. Um, but they are getting a little bit worn now. So I wanted to get some fresh ones. I always think it's good to get fresh socks. Um, and these are so nice. And they're so soft if i can't link them below i will write the code below because often they don't sell all the socks on the website but i found these in the covent garden store so i'm definitely going back to get more but they're just they're quite long but you can ruche them down which is kind of what i love so i got those and then i also picked up these t-shirts now these t-shirts are actually the same t-shirt in two different sizes but i think we all need to know about these t-shirts so I don't really show you both of them. I got one in a size small, one in a size medium. I would say for me, if you're a size six and you want an oversized t-shirt, um, the size small is really good. This is from the men's section. Um, it's from the Uniqlo U range. Um, and this t-shirt, I kid you not, is the nicest material. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but it's a really lovely, like, the only way I can describe it is it's like, you know some of the t-shirts you get in, um urban outfitters that have like the graphic prints and they've got that kind of really lovely textured t-shirt that's like feels more expensive that's essentially what it feels like it doesn't feel cheap at all i love the neckline um it's a really good quality t-shirt like i actually can't get over how nice it is it's quite like um rigid so it's not one of those ones that drapes it's like a classic boxy tee um and i love the style of it i absolutely love this it just it just screams like I bought it from somewhere more expensive than Uniqlo. Um, price wise, this is how much? $19.90, which I think is quite good because the t-shirt is lovely quality and I do think sometimes it's worth spending, you know, £20 does sound quite like quite a lot. But this t-shirt quality, I can't express to you, it's literally chef's kiss. They do this in about four or five other colours as well. So if you're not looking for white, if you want a navy blue, I think they did a green. Um, yeah, from the men's section, love, love, love. I've heard good things about men's Uniqlo t-shirts. So when I saw that, I literally was like, I need it. I literally need it. And I thought about it more and more and I had to go back and get it. So I got two. I got a medium and a small. I would say get the small if you're a similar size to me. If you want it super baggy, get a medium. But I just wanted two just so I can alternate between the two and just enjoy. I love a baggy t-shirt in the summertime. Um, the last thing I got from Uniqlo was actually two little bra sets. Um, underwear sets even. Basically, I love Uniqlo in general. And I was like, I need to try some of their underwear and I saw these hanging up and I was like I want to give that a go so this is a little kind of I would class it as it's almost like a skims bra it's the only way I can describe it it's like quite thin quite just soft against the skin nothing major um and I just really like the style of it because it's just a classic bra um but it does have this little can you see that little line there which I just thought was quite cute I was like oh, okay yeah yeah it's just a bit different um, but since getting home, I also bought it in this like creamy colour. Since getting home, I realised, I tried them on and I realised it just looks like it's pulling a little bit there. Um, not badly, but I was just kind of like, I don't know if I love that little strap. So with the nude one, I actually chopped it off. Now I know it's probably not something you should do. 
but i dropped it off and i was instantly just like obsessed with the bra 10 times more so if you've seen this and you're thinking oh not sure about that little bit in the middle chop it off i chopped it off and i was like oh. it's really giving skims like really giving skims these are from the i don't know how you say this name so i'm not going to butcher it but this is the collection that they're from um and i got them both in the xs and they are 19.90 each really lovely bras actually like when i tried them on super super nice and then i also picked up the matching knickers stupidly picked up one in a size small one in a size xs don't know why but these ones are the size xs and then i got these ones in a size small and i'm not they look so much bigger i don't know if they're wrong sizing but anyway um yeah i got those and they're also from the same collection but you can find those in the underwear section if you're in store but i will link them below if they are online for you guys as well um next up is a couple bits from mango mango are killing it at the moment like i just keep finding such beautiful pieces on there um and one of which are these earrings look at these basically because i'm going on holiday i really wanted to find some good pieces that i can wear um with like if i've got a more of a like simple dress on as some statement earrings so i saw these and i just thought they were stunning um and i love the gold like i don't know i just thought they were a bit different and i wanted to try them and i feel like they would be good even for in the uk as well i just really want to like add a bit of pizzazz to my jewelry collection a little bit more rather than constantly wearing the same thing um and then i also picked up this striped shirt which i love by the way love this like chunky blue stripe i love a blue striped shirt anyway in the spring but i think that this one's quite nice i think the chunky stripe make it feel a little bit more less businessman a little bit more relaxed one thing about stripy shirts is sometimes they can look a little bit formal at times so i quite like the way this one's a little bit more of a it gives holiday rather than like i'm working in an office so i really really like this really lovely this one i got in a size small i really like it i think it's gonna be nice i've actually tried this on with like a little white vest with some jeans and some like flip-flop sandals which i thought just looked amazing so i love that i also have a pair of shoes to show you these two are from mango basically i own no summer shoes i don't really like sandals it's just not for me i'm a trainer gal but since i'm going away i was like i should buy some sandals that i can wear even something i could wear in london that's like always my thought process when it comes to summer clothes summer wardrobe everything like that it has to be wearable in london has to be wearable next year and it also has to be wearable on holiday i'm not going to buy something for holiday that i can't wear either time and time again or in london um so i saw these lip flop sandals which i just thought were very simple very me they're not too in your face they're not too like i don't like super strappy tie around your like um ankle like flat sandals they're just not for me so i just thought these were quite nice um and yeah i really like them i think they also do them in white for anyone who's interested but i just thought they were nice and the leather's soft one thing i hate I hate about summer shoes is that they're always so uncomfortable and i'm like i don't want uncomfortable shoes i want comfort which is why i wear trainers all the time so yeah i got those i'm excited to wear those on holiday and i think they'll look great with outfits in london as well like jeans and stuff like that so love 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 next i have a few bits from zara now i don't really shop at zara anymore not because i'm i just don't ever find anything i like and also i find everyone wears the stuff from zara so i don't love shopping there um i just find it to, tends to be that one place that everyone shops and i know everyone shops everywhere but i don't know there's something about it but i do find the odd thing that i do like there and i bought this dress which i think i might return only because i don't think i'm gonna wear it enough um but it's this little white dress um with this gorgeous little like brodery like design on it um really really cute little strappy dress i thought it was adorable it's also got um like shorts on underneath so it's almost like a play suit with a dress over the top um it's got a zip here i just think it's so so cute like, you know when you put something on and then you're like oh this is adorable but i tried styling it the way i envisioned styling it and it didn't really come across how i thought it would and then i don't know i just don't know if i'm gonna wear it enough throughout summer to warrant keeping it um i do love it though that's the problem so i'm a bit like stuck with what to do about it because i do have other white dresses that are equally as cute 
so this might go back but i do love it and i do think if you're someone who likes a nice white dress or wants something flowy for summer when it's hot this is a really really good option and then the other thing i picked up i actually have worn it's a bit creased i'm sorry um i washed it and i haven't yet steamed it <laughs> looks quite bad um this is a little linen waistcoat i had a vision of an outfit which i haven't actually worn yet because the vision was like a certain type of way and when i wore this i wore it more of an evening look i'll show a picture on the screen for anyone who's interested um i just wore it with some black trousers but i feel like this would look really cute with some jeans or something a little bit more summery i do think it's a summery piece so i do love this this i got an extra small um i think i got the dress in an extra small as well but i think it's cute i just need a bit of a steam and then i can wear it how i visioned it i've been looking at a lot of pinterest inspo recently because i just really struggle with summer fashion so any inspo i can get i'm getting it <laughs> um and then this next piece is from a brand called rumored which i think i first heard about maybe on tiktok i don't know but i saw this on pinterest and this is i got i ordered this once seeing it on pinterest and there was an ad and also like i kept seeing this style of top and i was like i need it so this is a knitted top really cute it's kind of like a knitted waistcoat um and it's got these little fastens so you can like put it together like so or do it up just one um i love this i think it's so cute i think it gives like summer holiday you could also wear it over like a short sleeve t-shirt if you wanted to wear it when it's a little bit cooler in london um i love it and for anyone who's wondering i bought this from rumored it's i believe an american website um the shipping is like 30 pounds which is a lot of money but i didn't pay any customs when it came so kind of worked out i guess um not the cheapest place to shop but if you're looking for something that maybe not everyone has i highly recommend checking out rumored they do have some beautiful pieces on there and i bought this they do this in black and gray for anyone who's wondering and i bought it in the small i love it i love it so much um okay next up we have some bits from weekday weekday is one of my favorite places to get like basic vest tops and things like that t-shirts when it comes to this time of year because they do such good basics and basics that are a little bit more on trend slash good quality slash fit nice because sometimes I buy like vest tops and they just fit baggy around the tummy and they're just not what I'm looking for so the first one I picked up is this one I actually wore I bought two of these because I find white tops get so badly stained with the fact I wear fake tan I'm super super pale normally so i need a bit of tan to keep me looking alive um and it means that tops like this get stained and ruined like quite a lot but yeah so i bought two and i tried the first one on and oh my god i love it it fits so nice you see the top that i'm wearing right now it has a similar fit to this um it's kind of a little bit longer i just it's like a baby tee meets a tank top and i just love it i got this in an extra small so nice this one is like a t-shirt material with ribbed details they also do it in other colors where the top is actually ribbed um but i actually kind of like this it's a little bit different um and yeah i'm obsessed obsessed with this the fit of this is quite literally chef's kiss oh stunning love it um and then i got this little mini skirt i am on the hunt for the perfect black mini skirt because I did have one, but it shrunk a little bit in the wash, and then the sp it had a little split in it, and it just kind of looked like it was too small. And I was like, I don't feel comfortable in this. Um, so I bought this one from Weekday. This is like, it's basically a linen skirt. It's also lined, which I find very hard to find with linen skirts. I was looking on a lot of websites, and a lot of them aren't lined, which means they're not suitable, really, for wearing all the time. And I just want to feel comfortable. I don't want to be risking anything. So, yeah, it is a tiny bit big around the waist, but I actually do quite like the way it looks. And I think for the outfits that I'd wear it with, I think it will look fine, like whether I wear it with a T-shirt tucked in, a little vest or whatever. I think it'll be quite nice and maybe once i've washed it it might feel a little bit more fitted um because sometimes i feel like things like this do need a wash before you get the proper sizing fit of it um so yeah anyway i love that i got this one in a size 34 this is 34 pounds for anyone's wondering and i think they did it in a nude as well which is great if you're looking for something of that color i do actually have a nude skirt so didn't need that 
Um, then I bought three uh, tops in the same, no, three top, three of the same top in different colours. This is a really good vest actually. I actually tried on Sush wore the grey one already and it's just basically like a scoop style vest top. Fits really nice on the body, it's kind of shorter so it's not a cropped vest but it's like shorter. It's not one that you would tuck in um, and I just love it. I think if you like a low rise like trouser or something like that this is perfect or if you just want something a little bit cropped but not super cropped these are really good as well um these are 10 pounds each i got them in a white a black and a gray because i think i do them in some other colors as well but oh my god they fit so nicely like they make your boobs look good they just oh my god you know when you just love a vest i highly recommend if you like a low cut vest this is good sometimes i think it's nice to have different vests with different cuts just for different situations, different occasions, wherever you're going, maybe it's hot, maybe it's like, maybe you wanna be a little bit more covered up, love. Um, I've got a few more bits to share with you and then I'm going to finish off the video. But these next two bits are two pieces that I had been lusting after for ages and just never bought and then I finally bought them. First one being this Jeff Avenue shirt. I have been looking for a nice white shirt everywhere and nothing was really fitting the bill. And I was putting off buying this because this isn't cheap, but now I have it, I'm like, oh my God, this is so nice. So this is a simple white shirt, more of a boxy style. Um, it's got this nice split at the back, which I think makes it a little bit different from any other white shirt. Um, and it's really simple, like it has the branding, but you can't really see it, it's on the pocket. Um, but the material of this, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. Let me see. It's slightly like textured. Um, it's more of like a cotton, a soft cotton fabric rather than a poplin cotton, which is what most white shirts are made out of. This feels like more like a, I don't know, like a men's shirt or something like that. I love it. It feels so beautiful and like the quality is so nice. And that's one thing I struggle with finding a nice white shirt that has good quality. So if you're looking at buying a white shirt, I recommend, I haven't actually worn this yet. I feel like it needs a wash or needs to be worn in because it looks quite smart at the moment. And I feel like it needs a little bit more relaxing down and then I think it will feel a bit more me. Cause right now, it when I put it on, I feel like I'm going to school or work and it's just, it's not a vibe. But I do absolutely love it, it's so cute. And I got this in a size small and it fits amazingly, so highly recommend. And then the last thing I have to share with you is this dress. I bought this, again, because I saw my friend Fran in it, and um, she was wearing it when we went on our trip to Devon, and I just loved it on her. And I was like, that dress is so stunning, and I've always seen it and never really thought about it. But because I, I'm trying to build my summer style, I really wanted to get some nice pieces that I love, and that when I put on, I feel great in. And this is about £230, I'm at a rough guesstimate, I'm not sure. Um, and I was kind of like, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to try it, I'm going to buy it. And it's this gorgeous brown like zebra print dress. It's super long, it's long sleeves, the sleeves kind of like bellow out. Um, I love this, I've never put a dress on where I felt like I look incredible. You know when you put something on and you think, oh my god wow that's how i felt when i put this dress on it's stunning like it doesn't really have any stretch it's very much like a holiday thin dress it's not one to wear like in the winter or anything i mean you probably could um it's quite thin it's not got any stretch the arms are like slightly tighter at the top so i would bear that in mind um it does depend on your size and what size i'd recommend but i got an extra small i could have got an extra extra small but i think it would have been too tight on my arms my arms aren't particularly like big or anything like that um but it does just feel a tiny bit snug on this part of your arm so if you're worried about that then i would size up but it fits great everywhere else so um yeah i feel like if i'd gone down a size it would be too tight on my arms um but i love it nonetheless it's super long won't lie but with heels it's fine and i cannot wait to wear this on holiday i can't wait like this is the one piece i'm most excited for this with these um mango earrings 
<gasps> divine, divine. So that is everything that I picked up recently. Um, I will link everything below with sizing and everything like that, um, along with anything similar if I can't find the exact items. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.